Thanks to Dollar Shave Club for sponsoring this video. Yo, what's going on guys? Sam here, welcome back to another video, my first of the year on the Apple Watch Series 6. Now it's quite early to talk about this product as it will likely not be dropping until all the way in September of 2020, which is a bit of ways away, but we already have a lot of details from credible sources on the kind of features Apple's looking to pack into this model. So if you're looking forward to the latest leaks and rumors on this device, some of which are quite enticing, drop a like down below, hit subscribe for more, and let's go ahead and get started. As soon as I saw the Apple Watch Series 5 announced, with two new features being the only changes, I'm talking about the always on display, which I actually really like, I'm a huge fan of that, and GPS, more accurate navigation there. I, I wasn't impressed, and I thought to myself, 2020 is gonna have to be a much larger year for this device. And early on, like this early on, almost a year before the watch is coming out, we're already hearing that Apple is gonna be going a much bigger and bolder direction. In 2020, the case is gonna be a lot different because we'll actually see some major upgrades like redesigned screen technology, upgrades to water resistance, a faster processor, possibly a redesigned side button, and to top everything off, Sleep tracking. Sleep tracking is likely on the way and that's where I wanna start. Apple acquired a company that sells an accessory called Bedit for the Apple Watch right here a few years ago. And in 2020, after years of product development on Apple's end now, it seems like that'll be the year that this is finally baked in to iOS and Watch OS. In fact, 9to5Mac actually shared details about this, how it's going to work. You'll get a notification right before bed if your Apple Watch battery is too low to charge your Apple Watch before you go to sleep. because this could actually be enabled on current Apple Watch models, including the Series 4, including the Series 5 from 2018 and 2019 respectively. But I've been following Apple for a few years and I've noticed a trend that, that seems to be reoccurring. Apple could add a lot of features to last year's iPhone. A lot of software changes on the new iPhones could easily be applied to last year's iPhones. And the same is true for the Apple Watch. Apple though, doesn't want you to keep your old product. They want you to go out and buy something new. So I have a feeling that sleep tracking will be the headlining feature after all on the Apple Watch Series 6 but we still got a few months of software development prior to iOS 14 and watchOS 7, so they could surprise us with some software enabling sleep tracking there. But regardless of how Apple approaches it, sleep tracking will almost certainly make its way to the Apple Watch in some form next year. Probably second to that is micro LED screen technology. So this will be the first time it is ever seen in action on an Apple device, and Apple sort of followed the same trend with OLED technology. Before the iPhone 10 ever got that OLED display, the Apple Watch Watch has had an OLED screen since the Apple Watch came out and was initially introduced in 2015. Micro LED allows those panels to be a little bit thinner and lighter while also being brighter but less power hungry. Eventually, Apple actually plans to bring this technology to the iPhone and likely all other Apple products, but they're gonna have a lead time of about two to four years based on this report for the Apple Watch. I'm hoping that Apple's able to do what they did with the Apple Watch Series 6, like what they did with the 2019 iPhone 11 Pro, where through software and small improvements around the entirety of the device in every facet, they can improve battery life by an insane amount of time probably allowing for sleep tracking to finally be viable. But there aren't any hard rumors just yet suggesting that uh, battery life year over year is gonna get better. I just, I think it has to. Like it's time for the Apple Watch's battery life to increase it has not changed since 2015. Now, before moving on to the next point, I wanna address a more serious controversy on my channel that I know a lot of you have been wondering about, my facial hair. All I'm gonna say is that growing a beard is a little bit harder than it seems at times, and that's why I use Dollar Shave Club to look the best I possibly can. Right here, I've got the $5 starter kit that Dollar Shave Club sent me. It comes with this amazing, smooth, silky, creamy shave butter right here. I love this stuff. And one of the nicest quality razors I think I've ever touched in my life. With the tools included in this box, it's gonna get you started on your best shaving journey yet, but they have so much more than just shaving stuff. They have deodorants, they have shampoos. Any grooming needs you have, Dollar Shave Club is there to fulfill. And if you're like me and you struggle finding gifts for people in your lives, then they can also help you out there because they have gift sets, gift cards, so you can find something for everyone on your list. So head over to dollarshaveclub.com slash I update to again, grab that starter kit for just five buckaroos, it's a really great deal. Plus check out all the other holiday sets. After that, you get the restock box that ships with full size products at normal price. So start looking at the freshest you've ever looked right now. Now the Apple Watch Series 6 is already capable of being submerged up to 50 meters of water, which is quite a lot by the way. Like considering I think the iPhone 11 Pro 
is good for 30 minutes at like four meters. Uh, so quite a difference there. Apple's said to be actually making the Apple Watch's water resistance better yet again in 2020. So maybe 100 meters or 75 meters or even more crazy applications like a diving moat. Now that part is speculation based, but water resistance in some facet, maybe even just longer submersion without having to worry about something seeping into the watch is coming in 2020, which again, seems like something they could have put in 2019 just didn't happen. On the side of the Apple Watch, you have a digital crown and a side button. And I've been reporting on this rumor for like three years now. So I feel like it has to come true because Fast Company, I'm not gonna let them forget about this one that they said it, put out an article that said the side button would be going solid state, meaning that when you pressed it, the button itself would not actually move. The watch would simply vibrate and let you know and make you feel like you were touching it so that with less moving parts, it's less likely to break. And also it could be more water resistant. Now hearing already that the Apple Watch Series 6 is going to have greater water resistance, you would wanna close off as many holes or gaps as humanly possible. So after such a long time, they were off by a few years, but that button, the side button on the Apple Watch Series 6 is likely gonna go solid state and become just like the home button on the iPhone 7 or the iPhone 8. And rounding out this list is a rumor that generally I would throw in like a two second segment at the end of a video, like, oh, and by the way, it's going to get faster. But Apple didn't do that on a product maybe for one of the first times ever where it did not actually get faster at all year over year. In fact, Apple called the processor inside of the Apple Watch Series 5 the S5 chip, but the only difference between that and the S4 chip from the 2018 Apple Watch Series 4 is the presence of a GPS. That's the only difference. That was worth an actual processor name change year over year because it looks bad if Apple would put an S4 chip in the Apple Watch Series 5. I was really disappointed to see that not even processing power increased year over year on the Apple Watch. Not that it necessarily was needed, but that it'd be an added bonus for paying a few hundred dollars for a watch. With the Series 6, on top of everything else, on the water resistance, on the sleep tracking, on the redesigned display, and possibly the updated solid state side button, processing power should be increasing as well. So if you're in the market for an Apple Watch with the holiday season quickly approaching, uh, you may wanna wait, hold off, get a smaller gift like Dollar Shave Club for somebody in your life because the Series 6 is already looking so great and we're a good 10 or 11 months away still. Those are the latest leaks and rumors that make me excited for the Apple Watch Series 6. Thanks again to Dollar Shave Club for sponsoring this video. Check them out at dollarshaveclub.com slash iUpdate. I've been Sam, I hope you're doing well. And I'll see all of you in my next video.